Welcome to Preeminent Test Prep. Today I have an SAT math tip and trick for you that deals with setting up ratios. So the way that you set up a ratio can really help you save time if you know how to set it up correctly. So for this example, for this tip, I'm going to go ahead and illustrate it through question three from SAT Practice Test 8, the math with calculator section. So in a random sample of 200 cars of a particular model, three have a manufacturing defect. At this rate, how many of 10,000 cars of the same model will have a manufacturing defect? Okay, we know that three out of 200 cars have a manufacturing defect in the sample. We know that we're told it's at the same rate. So we want to know how many out of 10,000 then will have that defect. Okay, so that what you'll notice right here is that I put my variable I want to solve for, x, which is the number of cars that will have a manufacturing defect out of 10,000 on top. Now, why did I put that on top? So obviously I put my three on top over here, but I could have just as well done 200 over three equals 10,000 over X. So why did I choose to set it up like this, right? With that three over 200 equals X over 10,000. Well, here's why, because it's gonna save me steps and help me get to my correct answer faster. Because when I multiply that on each side by 10,000, I'm left with X. So we noticed that all I had to do is multiply each side by 10,000 to get my answer because now I have three times 10,000 over 200. I plug that in my calculator and that's gonna give me 150. So I know that X then has to equal 150. So my answer will be A. Okay, so why does setting it up like this with the variable that I wanna solve for on top save me time? Well, I'll go ahead and show you. If I was to set it up with the variable I wanna solve for on the bottom in my denominator, then I have to multiply each side by X. Okay, so that's one step. Then I have to multiply each side by three Okay, so now I've got three times 10,000. Then I got to divide each side by 200. So what you notice there is that there were two more steps at least in solving this problem, right? So look at how much more work that bottom one is versus just multiplying by the denominator um, that is below my numerator of X, okay? So look at how many more steps this bottom setup is versus the top. So that's why anytime you're setting up a ratio, you want the variable that you want to solve for to be in your numerator if it's possible. Because by doing that, you're going to save yourself time and steps, right? And the other thing is, by doing less steps, you're less likely um, to make a mistake. So that makes it a lot more efficient, and it also makes it so you're more likely to get the correct answer because you're not doing as many steps so that could lead to a mistake. So anytime that you're asked to solve for something dealing with ratios like this, try to put the variable that you want to solve for on top in your numerator, and that'll help you save time on the SAT math section. So as always, hopefully that was helpful. If it was, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I have a 90-day SAT prep course available on my channel. You can find that on the playlist section of my channel if you're looking for that as well. As always, make sure to have a great day.